In nature's wonderful economy, everyone and everything has its place, and blessed is the person who finds their place in the plan. Each individual has a unique role to play, and no two roles are alike. Each one is purely individual and self-supporting, spiritually if not physically. However, each one also depends to a certain degree on the fact that they are supported by, or at least placed in proper environments built around them, through the cooperative coadjutancy of their fellow creatures. The success of the entire plan of any great organization depends upon the working of each unit, and any great enterprise has gone to pieces through the lack of cooperation of even one minute unit. This is true in all realms, whether they be spiritual, philosophical, or material. A perfect understanding of our own position, a willingness to acquiesce and give a little so that the entire endeavor may go on more smoothly, a readiness to recognize the superiority of others, whether it be in quoting scripture or driving rivets, these things should be in the consciousness of individuals. They should realize that no matter how great or small they may be, they have their place, and the fact that they are existing at all is proof that they are, in part at least, fulfilling their appointed position. Their greatest glory should not be to fill other people's shoes, but to be worthy examples of having lived up to and properly carried on the labors of their own life.